Being there when you need us the most. At Westfield Insurance, we take these words to heart. A promise of protection means more to us than simply insuring your home, auto, or business. Our agency partners and employees are part of the communities where you live and work. We know what our customers value. That's why we support programs that you and your family care about most, like academic excellence, team driving safety, and neighborhood improvement. Westfield Insurance, sharing knowledge and building trust in your community. The Westfield Insurance Brain Game. Sharing knowledge, building trust. It's the Westfield Insurance Brain Game. Now, here's your host, Chuck Lofton. Well, we thank you so much for joining us on The Brain Game. And, you know, we've had a fantastic 2015-2016 season. More than 40 fantastic Central Indiana schools have participated. Now we're down to the second round. We continue getting closer to that Brain Game championship. In fact, we are now in the 24th game of the season. Westfield, we're so glad that you're here. Devin, Noah, Kara, and Anna representing the Shamrocks and representing the Greyhounds from Carmel, uh, Vicus. Matthew, Samir, and Jake. So is it Vikas or Vikas? Vikas. Vikas. It's neither one. So we got it right. Well, we're glad you're here. And as always, we want to uh, welcome our judge, Christine Guillenot, from the wonderful University of Indianapolis, is in here with us today, uh, making sure that we're doing everything right. Okay, before we begin, let's take our traditional Westfield Insurance Brain Game deep breath. All right, now we're ready to go. In fact, our first question actually has to deal with helping others. So here we go. You come across an unconscious person. Name the tag on a bracelet he is wearing, which may help explain why he has lost consciousness. And Jake? Diabetic. No. Westfield? Have an answer? It's a medic alert bracelet. Medic alert bracelet. So let's continue. What state is the setting for F. Scott Fitzgerald's work, The Great Gatsby Noah? New York. New York is correct. To religion now, and name the most famous cathedral in Moscow. And Vikas. St. Basil's. St. Basil's is correct. Study the monitor now, and as you do, I'd like for you to identify this tool that is used to remove nails when a... And Jake. Crowbar. Mm, no, it's, it's uh, a tool that used to remove nails when a hammer cannot. So Westfield, it's your shot. No. A breaker bar? No, I would have accepted either a cat's paw or a cat's claw. So with that, looks like none of us are, are handymen because I didn't know what that thing was either. Let's continue. What do you call each of the functional units in the kidney consisting of a glomerulus and its associated tubule through which the glomular filtrate passes before emerging as urine. Anybody? Okay, the answer I was looking for was nephron. Nephron. Let's continue. What disorder is indicated by extreme tenderness in the area of the abdomen known as McBurney's point? And Samir. Appendicitis. That is correct. What device on the decks of aircraft carriers that function to accelerate airplanes and Samir. Catapult. Catapult is right. Okay. Listen closely. Identify, if you would, for me, the only American presidential candidate ever assassinated. Samir. Robert Kennedy. Robert Kennedy is right. Okay. Time to spell now, and here we go. Erratic or impulsive, I'd like for you to spell capricious. And Anna. C-A-P-R-I. C-I-O-U-S. That is correct. Capricious. In art, what name is given to the point at which lines extending away from the viewer seem to converge? Because. Vanishing point. That's correct. So we'll add that point up for Carmel, and here we go. Appointed to the high court by President Ronald Reagan in 1986, Samir. Antonin Scalia. Antonin Scalia, who just passed away. He was the longest-serving justice who, uh, again, just recently passed away. All right. Transform the past participle deserved into an adverb. And Jake. Deservedly. Deservedly is right. Now let's go to math. We're trying to cover all the bases today for you. A Beechcraft Bonanza is cruising at a speed 
of 260 knots. What will be the plane's cruising speed if its speed is increased by 10 percent? And Matthew? 286 knots. That is correct. What article of the Constitution deals primarily with relations between the states? And Vikas? Fifth. No. Westfield, do you have an answer? No. Uh, the third? No, I was looking for Article 4, so right in the middle of what you guys had there. All right, let's go with a bonus qualifier now. This one is worth one point. If you get it right, uh, two points, so it's like a three-point shot. Here we go. Now, the world's top diet drink. In what year was Diet Coke introduced? <phone rings> Noah. Uh, 1985. No. Carmel, would you like to guess? Vakas. 1943. It was 1982. So nobody gets this one. We'll continue with a regular question. In fact, let's go to a musical question right now. The barrel organ or street piano is a mechanical violin consisting of six strings vibrated by a wheel turned with a handle. What is another name for this instrument? Noah. The accordion? No. Carmel? It's the hurdy-gurdy. And I'm sure <laughs> nobody younger than me has ever seen one. But <laughs> I have. So let's continue here. Before it became an independent nation, the region now encompassed by Zimbabwe was known as Noah. Rhodesia. Yes, and we would have also accepted southern Rhodesia for that. Who, in the 1890s, invented an engine in which combustion is produced by high pressure in the cylinder? And Samir. Diesel. Right, Rudolf Diesel was the man's name. One more, and then we're going to go to a face-off. In mammals, what separates the thorax from the abdomen? Anybody? No. The diaphragm? That is correct. So Westfield gets the point. And with that, we'll go to a face-off question. And, of course, now we're in the second round, so you all have been through this before. And, Devin and Vikas, before I give you the uh, question, here's the category. Listen closely. Two-letter words. Each answer must be a two-letter word. There aren't many of those, but we found enough to put together this category. So, Devin and Vikas, here we go. The part of Freudian psychology that relates, Vikas? Id. Id is correct, that relates uh, to instincts. Okay, Noah and Matthew, you're up to bat next. A first-person possessive pronoun. Noah? My. My is correct. All right, Kara and Samir, this one's for you. A horned beast of burden. Have it? Okay, answer was we were looking for was ox. Amna and Jake. A name for the first note of a diatonic scale. And Jake. Doe. Doe, a deer. A I won't sing. I'll spare you that, but we will take a break. We've got a score right now of 11 to 5. The Greyhounds from Carmel in the lead. When we come back, more questions, another face-off. And later in the show, we really add the points up with the minute quiz. The Westfield Insurance Brain Game on WTHR continues right after this. Stay tuned. The Brain Game. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Westfield Insurance Brain Game. Welcome back. Carmel leads 11 to 5, and we're so glad that Carmel and Westfield are here on the second round of the Brain Game, which is not an easy trick to get here, so we're glad you're here. Devin, welcome. Hello, my name is Devin. I'm a senior, and I'd like to thank our friends and family for all their support. All right, Noah. Hi, my name is Noah, and I'm also a senior, and I'd like to thank the alternates and Mr. Ewing for, for bringing us down here. Great. Hi, Kara. Uh, my name is Kara, and I'm a senior, and I'd like to thank Westfield for their support. Very good. Hi, Amna. Hi, I'm Amna. I'd like to thank all of our, uh, our school administrators and teachers for supporting us and always encouraging us. Okay, well, we're glad the Shamrocks are here now representing the Greyhounds. Vikas, welcome. Hi, I'm Vikas. I'm a senior and fourth year Brain Game team member, and I'd like to thank our principal, John Williams, and our superintendent, Nicholas Wall. And Matthew, hi, welcome. Hi, I'm Matthew. I'm a senior, and this is my fourth year on Brain Game. I'd like to thank our parents and faculty for their support. Samir, welcome. Hi, I'm Samir. This is, I'm a senior. This is my second year on the Brain Game team, and I'd like to thank our sponsor, Mr. Sheeran, and our alternates, Darren Chang and Nathan Fay. All right, great. And hi, Jake. Hi, I'm Jake. I'm a junior, and this is my second year on the Brain Game team, and I'd like to thank Channel 13 as well as uh, the Westfield Insurance Brain Game. Well, we're glad you all are here, and uh, we're going to continue right now. So here we go with our next question. They orbit the sun 
just as the planets do, but in elongated ellipses that, Noah? Uh, asteroids? No, I'll continue uh, for Carmel, but in elongated ellipses that rarely bring them into view. Name these heavenly bodies and because. Comets. Comets is correct. What fast food chain is teaming up with Oscar Mayer and introducing hot dogs to their food items? Omna. Burger King. Burger King is correct. Okay, it was founded in 1776 in Russia and is known for its performances of the 19th century classic ballets. Name this leading Russian ballet company. And Kara. Moscow Ballet. No. Carmel? You're going to hate yourself when I tell you this. It's the Bolshoi Ballet. <laughs> Okay, let's continue. Listen to the following. In fact, let's hear some music right now. I want you to identify this musician who is recognized as one of the key figures in the history of jazz, and he was introduced into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2006. And Jake. Louis Armstrong. No, Westfield. Do you like to give it a shot? Amna? Duke Ellington. No, it's Miles Davis, the great Miles Davis. Okay, let's continue with a question about poetry. What poet wrote the line, something there is that doesn't love a wall? And because? Frost. Frost is right. Robert Frost is the answer. The liquid that is passed through a filter is called the what? Amna? Filtrate. Filtrate is right. Okay, let's do a bonus qualifier again. This one is for one point. Here we go. List three types of metals that are magnetic. And Noah? Uh, iron, copper, and zinc. No. Carmel, would you like to give it a shot? Samir? Iron, copper, and steel. No, it's iron, nickel, and cobalt. Okay, so let's go to the next question here. When a new tooth breaks through an infant's gums, that process is called, Samir? Teething. Teething, I would have except screaming, crying, <laughs> gnashing of teeth, of tooth. Uh, but you got it right. Teething is correct. Okay, now I'd like for you all to study the monitor, and as you do, tell me which of the choices represents the best definition for the word platitude. Because B, B, trite remark is correct. That's right. What does the M E on Windows M E stand for? And Samir. Millennium Edition. That is correct. So uh, Carmel gets the point. And our next question goes back to 1983. Because in 1983, Sally Ride became the first American woman astronaut in space when she rode aboard what space shuttle? And Noah. The Challenger? The Challenger is, is uh, correct. That is correct. We'll give you that point. Okay. Let's continue. In what city was the first building called a skyscraper built? And Noah. New York City. No. Carmel. Jake. Chicago. Chicago is correct. Let's go to geography now, and I'd like for you at home as well to study the monitor and tell me which of the following nations is closest to the island of Aruba. Is it A, Cuba, B, Mexico, C, Venezuela, Picasso, C, See, Venezuela, I'm sorry you didn't have the picture up there, but Pakash, you did get the answer. Oh, there it is. Now that we got the answer. So congratulations. You got the point there, Pakash. Let's continue. Accordingly, moreover, and otherwise are what kind of adverbs, Jake? Conjunctions. <laughs> At, uh, Westfield. Omna. Transitions. It's conjunctive adverbs. Conjunctive adverbs. Let's continue. How many continents have names that do not include the letter A. Jake. One. One is correct. Now this next question, listen closely. U-234 and U-235 are two of the three natural isotopes of uranium. And Amna. I don't know. Okay. What I want you to do, Carmel, is identify the third. Matthew. U-238. That is correct. Well, as you might guess, the Moabite stone is an ancient is inscription written in Moabite. Moabite is a dialect, though, of what language? And Vakas. Hebrew. Hebrew is correct. Let's continue with this question. What was Daniel Webster admiring when he called it 
the gorgeous ensign of the Republic. Anybody? Noah. The United States. No, Carmel. Mr. Webster was talking about the American flag. Okay, so it's 21-8. It's time for the face-off again, and that's how we're going to close off this segment. So, uh, Devin and Vikas, before I give this to you, uh, here's the category. The category is unusual languages, okay? So, Devin and Vikas, here you go. Beginning with the letter R, it's one of the official languages of Switzerland. Anybody? Okay, the answer is Romanche. Noah and Matthew, you're next. The most popular fictional language, it's based on Matthew? Klingon. Klingon is right, based on gibberish spoken by actor James Doohan. Kara and Samir, here you go. This language was created in 1887 and intended to be used to, as a simple universal language. Have an answer? Samir. Morse code. No, Kara. The answer is Esperanto, Esperanto. And now Amna and Jake, here you go. Anguage lay, ounding say, I play, Jake? Pig Latin. Pig Latin is correct. Again, we reach for the high bar here at the Westfield Insurance Brain Game. Uh, good game so far, 23-8. When we come back, we're going to add the points up quickly. It's the minute quiz. Stay with us as the Westfield Insurance Brain Game continues, K. X nay. The Brain Game. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Westfield Insurance Brain Game. And our second round action continues here on the Westfield Insurance Brain Game. We're sure glad that you uh, chose to spend some time with us. Carmel, you're in the lead. So, Matthew, since you're the captain, you get to select for the minute quiz A or B. Pack it A, please. All right. Okay, we have it here. Are you ready? Let's begin. Name the world's second longest river. Nile. In what year was Archduke Francis Ferdinand assassinated? 1914. What poem by Poe begins Once Upon a Midnight Dreary? Raven. Raven. Name the third leg of the thoroughbred Triple Crown. Belmont Stakes. Belmont Stakes. The phrase, Am I My Brother's Keeper, comes from what book? Pass. Name the next prime number after seven. Eleven. Eleven. What name is given to a skiing event in which a skier must navigate between a series of poles? Slalom. What name is given to the art of beautiful writing? Poetry. According to mythology, what happened to those who looked at the Gorgons? Tone to stone. In what war did the Battle of Leyte Gulf take place? World War II. World War II. Which one of these African countries is landlocked? Chad, Namibia, or Cameroon? Chad. In what century did the Gregorian calendar replace the Julian calendar in general use? Twelfth. Complete this proverb. Speech is silver, but... Pass. Who co-wrote the Communist Manifesto with Karl Marx? Engels. Which star is closest to our sun? Serious. What cowboy film star was the husband of Dale Evans? John, John Wayne. Okay, it was Roy Rogers. All right, and Westfield, uh, you'll be up next here. And uh, Noah, mm -hmm. are you all ready? Yes, we are. Okay, here we go. Let's begin. Name the epic poem by Virgil that deals with the founding of Rome. Pass. How many years are there in an Olympiad? A hundred. In what state would one find Stone Mountain and the Okefenokee re Refuge? Georgia. The bands of high radiation circling the earth are called what? Uh, cosmic rays. Who wrote the short stories The Purloined Letter and Murders in the Rue Moore? Pass. Name the current head of the Catholic Church. Pope Francis. The musical Rent is based loosely on what opera by Puccini? Pass. What was the last country to adopt the Gregorian calendar? Pass. What name is given to the Parliament of Israel? Uh, pass. Name the capital of Finland. Helsinki. Give the meaning of the prefix exo. Out. With what art form would you associate Annie Leibovitz? Uh, photography. An ion that undergoes no chemical change during a chemical reaction is called what? Uh, pass. The Hippocratic Oath is traditionally taken by Medicine. people in what profession? What name is given to an atom or molecule that has gained or lost an electron? Ion. Ion is right. So we're going to try and uh, add these up, and let's get as many questions as we can in here right now. So here we go. Everybody ready? Let's go. What Indiana State Park located in Spencer features a limestone canyon and natural 
Bridges. Devon. Turkey Run. No Carmel. Because. Brown County. No, it's beautiful McCormick's Creek. Let's do a who am I at this point. Okay, this one is for three points. While undergoing surgery in 2006, I transferred control of my country to my brother Raul. And Samir. Fidel Castro. Fidel Castro is right, so three points for Carmel. Let's continue. It's nearly as thick as your little finger and about nine centimeters in length. Identify this tube opening into the large intestine. Noah. The esophagus. No. Carmel, would you like to give it a shot? Bacas. Duodenum. I'm looking for the appendix. Appendix. All right, let's go to our next question. Now, what American poet carried on the romantic tradition in his work, Out of the Cradle, endless, Endlessly Rocking? And Kara. Walt Whitman. Walt Whitman is right. Okay, study the monitor now, and as you do, identify a country located in southern Africa that is, and because. Zimbabwe. No, I'll finish for Westfield. It's 70% covered by the Kalahari Desert. And Noah. Botswana. Botswana is absolutely right. Let's continue here. What is the title of the officer in the House of Representatives responsible for maintaining order? And Kara. Speaker of the House. So, what's that? Speaker of the House. No. Carmel? Have an answer? Samir. The whip. No, he's looking for the sergeant at arms. Uh, so with that, I'm going to right now put in the judge's question. Okay, so this is worth three points. The famous feud between the Hatfields and the McCoys took place primarily in what two states? And Jake. West Virginia and Tennessee. No, Westfield. No. Uh, Kansas and Missouri. It's Kentucky and West Virginia. And let's go to a bonus qualifier now. This one is for one point. What is a dipsomaniac obsessed with? Anybody? Okay, the answer is alcohol. They're obsessed with alcohol. Let's continue. In a single elimination tennis tournament, there were 240 players. Given that one or more rounds may involve a bye, how many rounds of matches are required to determine a winner? I see you're working. Anybody with an answer? Devin? Seven. No. Carmel? I'll give you just a moment. I need an answer. Jake. Eight. Eight is correct. You'll get the point. Let's go to music now. And what rock group uh, topped the rock charts, or the alt rock charts, in 2013 with a song titled, Do I Want to Know? And Matthew. Arctic Monkeys. Arctic Monkeys is right. Let's try another study the monitor question for you. Works such as Harper Lee's To Kill a Mockingbird and Thomas Hardy's Return of the Native are examples of what type of Picasso? C regional. C regional novels is correct. The business of selling goods to retailers and other merchants. And Samir? Wholesaler. Wholesaling is right uh, to professional, commercial, and industrial users is called wholesaling. All right. What stage of insect metamorphosis comes between the larva stage and the adult stage? Matthew? Pupa. Pupa's right. Okay, let's do a spelling word now. To swing or move back and forth, spell oscillate. And Matthew? O-S-C-I-L-L-A-T-E. That's correct. Everywhere beneath the soil at uh, greater or lesser depths, there exists the solid, continuous masses of rock which make up the Earth's crust. What compound word describes, and Matthew? Bedrock. No. Westfield, do you want to give it a shot? Kara. Sedentary. No, it's outcrop. Okay, that's the game. We're going to verify our score. When we come back, we'll have your winner, and we'll tell you about uh, what else you can do to occupy yourself with the brain game. Coming up in just a few minutes. Stay tuned. The Brain Game. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Vicki Root of Brown & Brown of Indiana, bringing you the sharing knowledge, building trust question. If you own everything in your home, but not the home itself, what type of insurance should you buy? For the answer and a chance to win an iPad mini, go to westfieldinsurance.com slash WTHR Brain Game. 